So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pasuela from Curval.com and today I have a great video for you and this is actually something that I learned from you, uh, one of you from the Power BI community, so this is absolutely amazing. And what we are going to learn how to do today is how to compare two Power BI reports. This is something that you can do on a lot of programs, you can compare with Word, you can compare PDFs, you can compare a lot of file types, and now you can compare to Power BI report to see what has changed. And uh, without any more delay, we are actually going to start a video. You are going to love it. I absolutely do. So let's begin. So this is actually a trick that uh, Didier Therrien I don't know if that's how he pronounced his name. It sounds French to me, at least. So this is a file that Didier shared with me. And uh, he actually took the time to spend a few minutes to explain how the file works. And I think it's a, it, an amazing, amazing job. So I'm going to show you how it works. I will have a link on the description box so you can go and download it from him. And uh, you will find some more information about Didier on the description box too. Also, if you want to ask questions about exactly how this file works, because there's a lot of stuff in here and I will go through some of it. Okay. So the first thing you do when you download his Power BI file is um, this introduction. And he's actually explaining here what this report does. And uh, you will see that there are two reports in here. Formula search is this actual file that you will download from him. And I should always uh, turn off my Outlook just a second. Okay, so um, what you will see on the reports is actually the files that you have open on your computer. So right now I have two files open, the formula search, this is the one that you will download from Didier, and the Northwind um, template. So if you have more files, you will see more reports in here. If you just don't see any, just click on refresh and they will load. So as you can see here, the formula search does not have any uh, tables or anything. So that will be empty where you are actually seeing here is the tables that are available on the Northwind report. To refresh, you just click as usual on refresh and uh, it will connect to the file and download everything you need. On this tab, tab one, uh, you will find a link to ideaspowerbi.com where you can actually vote to get these like as a standard feature. You will have uh, some uh, manual about how to use this file. And then he's actually giving credits to all these people for helping him create this Power BI file. So this is super cool. Um, so if you want to learn more about how this was done, here you have a lot of resources for it that Didier has shared with us. So once you've done that, you go to formulas. And again, you will see if you select both, again, formula search, does not include anything, so that's why you don't see anything other than the Northwind dataset. And then you can see here the tables that are available, you can see the fields that are available, uh, you can see columns and measures, and then you can search. So you can actually search by average. You know, this is the... Um, uh, universal search, this is a custom visualization, so uh, it will search on everywhere on the file. I can see that it didn't do like a super good job, did it? Maybe I have to be like super exact. I haven't used this before. No, okay. So, then you have a uh, cross-reference and what you can see here is the child and the parent for measures. This is like super useful. This is a good visualization where you can see that total sales is using those ones and total sales is... So you can see how the measures are being created, both columns and uh, measures, so both calculated columns and measures. Um, 
And then here you have also like a visual relationship. The idea is working with this. So perhaps when you download this file, you will see something else. Okay. And the thing that I thought it was fantastic is this one. So here it allows you to compare measures from two files. So basically if you have a North Wind uh, version one and then somebody works on it and does a version two, you can actually import both of them here and you can compare them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open a new version of the North Wind template that you saw or the file. And what I've done is I've changed the average unit price instead of from a media, I, I have changed it to an average. Uh, and this is just an example. So I'll show you how exactly how this works. So now that we have this file open, if we go back to the DDS file and click on refresh, it will actually realize like, hey, you have another file open. This is basically what it's saying. You have another file open that I didn't know about before. So can you please connect? It will ask you to connect using your Windows credentials. We will do that. And then if you have native database query set as true, I'll show you, then you will see these warnings. It's saying, do you want to run this? Do you want to run this? This is basically accessing the structure of your data as Power BI file. So you say, yes, 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 please. It will go through all the tables, the measures. You can see what it's doing, actually. And once it is there, it will show it to you here. And then you can compare them side by side. And you can see if there are new columns, if there are changes on existing measures. You can, of course, create a measure that you know tells you that without actually going line by line. Didier, as I said, is working on, on the file. So probably in new versions, you will find it. So this is like super nice. If you don't want to have these native queries on, uh, here on security, you can uncheck this. So this is required user approval for native database queries. I should do a video on what native native database <laughs> queries are, I'll, I'll do it very soon. But for now, you, if you don't want to get those warnings, just uncheck this, okay? And uh, the last thing, if you want to give a name, because what you see now is just the report ID. And he is working on how to actually get the name of the file. Uh, until then, what you need to do is to create like an empty query where you uh, write underscore RPTI. Let's do that. We go to template two. Let's go to edit queries. And we create a blank query where we actually RPTI. And then I think it was space. And then we can just call it version two. Close and apply. It will appear here as a table. Uh, shoop. And then if we go back to our formula search or PTI, hopefully I wrote it correctly. And you can see that we've got a name now. It says uh, version two. So you can actually name these things in case you don't want to work with the IDs. Okay, so it's like super useful to be able to compare two files is actually uh, a great, great tool for that. So do you want to know how this is done? Go there, download the file and look at this. So you used a lot of functions from, you know, the sources that you saw before and uh, put everything together to be able to create this file. If you are curious about how I was done, just contact him or download this and check out uh, all these amazing functions that allow you to do what I just showed you. So Didier, thank you very much for showing this to me and for allow us, all of us to have access to your file. This is absolutely fantastic. Thanks. 
So again, we are now finishing our video. And if you liked this video and uh, solution, just let us know both him and me by giving us a big thumbs up. Uh, share some thank you with him on the comment box if you want to. And make sure you share this if you think other people should know about it. If you are new to the channel, I publish Power BI videos three times a week, so make sure you subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos. Other than that, have a fantastic day and I'll see you again on Friday. Bye!